Monday, welcome back to the sewing room. I have a few new Patreon peeps to say hi to. Carolyn Windley has joined the Patreon peeps, so welcome Carolyn and thank you. Spunky Girl Stitchery has also joined the Patreon peeps, so welcome and thank you very much. The video I put up on Friday, the comment section was really, really interesting. I definitely have identified my style, I definitely am comfortable in that style. <laughs> Felt really strange putting this video up, the video for this dress up the next day. It was meant to be this one first and then that discussion video, but editing and time wise didn't just didn't work out but yeah it was very very interesting reading your guys thoughts and opinions everyone was really really nice and constructive in the comments as well i really appreciate that thank you it was very interesting to hear what you guys think i am going to try and take it on board i definitely think i have got into a comfort zone and the beginning of this year being what it was I definitely kind of retreated very far into that comfort zone and wasn't pushing myself at all because there were only you know that was something I had a level of control over and if anything if I had any major fails or projects that I tried that hadn't worked I was aware enough that that was going to really knock my confidence so it was definitely the beginning of this year was comfort sewing for 100% it was interesting like actually sort of taking a step back and thinking about that i as i say i tried nine new patterns this year and have enjoyed them all i still have new patterns that i want to try sunday's hangout i spent going through some of my dress patterns and i actually pulled out 21 but i've narrowed it down to one two three four five six seven that i want to try so i've narrowed it down by to a third of its original starting point. Some of these are fit and flare, some of these hopefully are slightly different and might be something that is a little bit outside of my comfort zone but still something that you guys will be interested in seeing me try and make and then also me actually trying to wear them. So the first one is New Look 6093. I really like this. This kind of feels, for some reason it feels quite vintage. I can't put my finger on which decade it is though. One of the things that kind of scares me about this one is that there is no waist seam and that's also one of the things that I like about this one. The other thing is the finishing techniques because it is a facing which we all know how I feel about those. I very much like the spotty one, view a uh, uh, C sorry, with the fluttery sleeves. I just don't love fitted sleeves on me overly much. I find them quite restrictive. I just, I prefer sleeveless or fluttery sleeves, but Spucy is very cute, so I would like to try and make that one up. It is not too fabric hungry. It wants just over two meters of 150 wide or just under three meters of 115 wide. So this one, I can see myself giving a try and I've actually got some fabrics in my stash. I've got a black rayon with realistic florals on it that could look quite nice with this. So hopefully this one will get made up soon. Next up, again, for kind of vintage leaning, the Sew Over It 1940s tea, well not vintage leaning, 1940s tea dress, very vintage. I really, really like this. I think it's very, very pretty. I will have to do something about the sleeves because Sew Over It sleeves are notoriously tight. These ones will definitely be way too restrictive for me to fully enjoy. So I probably will end up putting a flutter sleeve on this or a long, bishopy style sleeve or you know balloon sleeve with with cuff on this one as well but the actual bodice and skirt i really really like so i'm looking forward to trying that one then we've got a sewaholic nicola dress i think this is absolutely gorgeous sewaholic patterns are drafted for pear shapes particularly they are drafted for a b cup and a pear shape i'm going to have to be careful about the bodice of this but the amount of ease that they've put in at the bust is quite considerable so there's a good four inches of ease around the bust on this one we all know how i feel about that so i'll probably take it down to maybe two inches of ease because if it is meant to be blues on but there's the, the fine line for me between too too big and then blues on enough but i really really like this one i like both options and i have high hopes for this one that if I do enjoy the short sleeve version then there could be a few longer sleeve versions. I like that neckline with the collar like that. I think it's nice. This one is the McCall's 8104. There are quite a few people in the hangout letting me know that there are some errors in the patterns instructions for this one but I thought it was interesting because it's kind of fit and flare but it's an empire line, skims the waist and then flares out from there. I can see myself making B, B or C. I do like the look 
of the flutter like the extra ruffles on the sleeve and the hem of the skirt but i kind of think it looks a little bit overwhelming on her a little bit so i'm not 100 percent sure if i would ever do the ruffly version but i do like b and c so that one then we've got mccall's 7623 it's another shirt dress this one i've actually featured in a get the look for less video say that you could make a zimmerman inspired dress with this the zimmerman dress is pink i think it was linen and i have some green linen back there i've got three meters of it and it would be if you see so i might just have enough the thing i would change is i would make the skirt a circular skirt rather than a hanky hem just because i prefer that look but this does have the fitted yoke over the top the zimmerman dress has patch pockets on the front and then tabs for the belt loops which i think i would like to add and maybe in that green linen it could look quite nice yeah this could be a let's make a zimmerman inspired dress video I, do, I, I would like to try this one and again it's slightly more fitted over the hips so hopefully at least something a bit different outside of my comfort zone of course 8177 this is gorgeous can't believe i've not made this up yet i love you b and a i don't really like the short little puff sleeves for c is it c yeah it says c i love the length of c and it would be that length that i would go for not the mini version or maybe even kind of like sort of mid calf length but I'm not sure about the shorter sleeves, so I would either do the strapless one or the longer sleeves. But that's very cute, wanna make that. And then finally, the McCall's 7500. I have wanted to make this for ages. I love the square neckline. I love all the detailing and ruffles on this one. Again, this was featured in a Zimmerman Get the Look for Less video because all of the different details and pieces that go into this dress really reminded me of the Zimmerman aesthetic so I would like to give this one a try as well. I will make the skirt longer and I'm probably going to add more tiers to it maybe even out the tiers because I do prefer an e like an even or maybe make the tiers shorter and getting bigger something like that I do really like this one again I will probably slightly change the sleeves on it because I don't like the little puff sleeves and I don't like the sleeve with the ruffle on it again just for me so yeah but I really like the pin tucks uh, view D particularly I like a lot so that's the seven patterns that I have dug out of my pattern stash now I did only go through the dress portion as i've said i definitely have massively retreated into my comfort shell comfort zone i was going to say comfort shell <laughs> retreated into my shell within my comfort zone so i know a lot of you want to see me make trousers I am not the right weight for that yet. I am getting there slowly but surely. I've really plateaued. I haven't taken keto up again as seriously as I had previously. I'm realizing that I'm gonna have to incorporate exercise or go back to strict keto to lose the last little bit that I wanna lose, which will then be like, and now I feel comfortable making trousers or more tailored trousers. The 7131 trousers, I still love. Although I did wear my Savannah pair and I just, I think maybe I put the wrong thing with them. I think I should have tried, maybe done a slightly better outfit with them. There will be trousers coming this autumn winter because I have three different suiting fabrics that I want to make them up in. Four different suiting fabrics that I want to make them up in. The tan, the red, the black and the puppy tooth cashmere suiting. So at some point there will be trousers but after last year making trousers and feeling so not like me in them and very kind of like that they just they they made me feel awful <laughs> they really did make me feel awful so i don't want to go down that route again i am definitely trying to avoid making things that make me feel less than great about myself at the moment that is definitely self-protection for sure for sure but yes yeah, so whilst they are dresses and they are mostly fit and flare <laughs> dresses they are new to me patterns that i hope have enough different kind of elements in them that you guys will find them interesting i am excited about making those ones i still have my deer and doe patterns which are going up for a vote on patreon on wednesday they're all going to get made it's the orchidy or the orchid the myosotis and forget me not and the reglis which is the licorice dress so they are going up for a vote on Wednesday and whichever order they come in is the order that I will make them in. So there's going to be a whole bunch of new patterns getting made. But today I am going to work on the By Hand London Anna Tops. Now, a lot of you guys were saying you really didn't want to see any more By Hand London Anna Tops as well. And that I should try and find a different pattern for under a metre of fabric. 
I have been looking for a different pattern for an under an eater of fabric for over two years and the By Hand London Anna top is the result of that search. If you go back to camisole month I tried a very popular 7654 pattern I think it was. I tried that a couple of times. I tried it a different couple of different iterations. That's why the camisoles were all got made. I just didn't find anything until the By Hand London Anna top. Also the Vogue 9345 tie front shirt, the Butterick 5985 probably had that wrong the Gertie tie front shirt as well the the two shirts do take slightly more than a meter of fabric so that is why there are so many by hand London Anna tops getting made so these two here I'm going to do a how I sew a fully lined top order of operations video which will be the dinosaur top and then I'm going to keep making them but I promise I will stop shoving them down your guys throat <laughs> so, yeah and as I said during the hangout as well, the By Hand London Anna dress has a lot to answer for in a good way. It was the first pattern that I tried and picked up, I think it was eight years ago, that got me back into sewing. If that one had gone wrong or if it hadn't have worked as, you know, if, if I hadn't have felt as great in it as I did, then I might not be here today because I can get very disheartened very quickly and having picked sewing up again it was one of those things that I'd broken up with somebody, I had moved house, I, you know my, my life had had a massive upheaval and I picked up sewing again after finding the buy, out about by hand London through Dolly Clackett via Superwoman Amber. She'd done, I've, I've talked about this before but she, Amber, Amber had done like a challenge where you had to wear your every pair of shoes you owned at least once that year or they had to be sold and that's how I came across Dolly Clackett and then Dolly Clackett was making all of her own clothes she'd made a by hand London Anna maxi dress and I loved it on her so I found the pattern followed the followed the sew along did the full bust adjustment made the dress up hated the skirt on me ordered more fabric put my own full five panel circle skirt on it French seamed everything bias binding fully lined the bodice put in an invisible zipper and then wore that dress with pride if that hadn't as gone as well as it did I genuinely might not be here today I might be doing something completely different so the by hand London Anna dress has a really 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 special place in my heart I'm never gonna stop making it I'm sorry I know some of you guys are very bored of it I enjoy wearing it I enjoy making it and as I say special place in my heart so I will stop shoving it down your guys throats quite so often and I will try different ones but there are gonna be more Sorry. Anyway, that was a lot. That's 15 minutes of waffle. Good grief. I wasn't meant to be waffling that much. So I'm going to get on and get these two tops sewn and filmed the and film the process of it. Well, at least one of them. Hopefully you guys enjoy seeing the order of operations that I follow for a fully lined top because I think I do it slightly differently. I mean, I don't really, but my method, I like it because there's very little hand sewing involved. So um, yeah. Let's get on with that. One eternity later. And my dinosaur top is complete. And uh, yes, it's another by hand London Anna. Sorry. You will be seeing the video for this live on Saturday. That is the plan. Fingers crossed that all comes to fruition. Uh, but yeah, I'm really pleased with it. And I think it looks really cute that it's kind of like a ditzy print from far. And then you get close up and it's dinosaurs. I'm very pleased that I managed to get a top out the length that I had left. Very pleased indeed. So I am going to call it a night. I have got another By Hand London Anna top to sew up, this time in the leafy black and white and grey viscose, but I am going to come back and do that tomorrow along with the 9006 that I have cut out of that fabric as well. I'm going to get both those done tomorrow and then fingers crossed start work on the bishop sleeve shirt because that's the video that I would like to go out on Friday so I definitely need to get that one sewn. Anyway I hope you've enjoyed today's waffle. I know there was a lot of waffle and very little sewing but as I say the proper videos will be coming out on Friday and Saturday this week so I hope you can look for those. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!